Ja. And what's your name? Top. Top. And how long did it took you to make this color? Uh, <laughs> one week. One week? Okay. And now you have a new hair, right? Yeah, right. Right. Yes, nice right yeah. <laughs> This is new, huh? The hair is new. Yes. Okay, because <laughs> the last week the hair was short. Uh, two days. Two days? Okay. And you can see everything is very nice here. <laughs> very nice hair. Earring as well. Everything is there. This is supposed to be a holy tree in the middle of a forest. Yet, what would be the offerings of the Thai people except shoes, baby powder, a bucket, a plastic elephant, more baby powder, candles still in the plastic bag, makeup set, lipsticks, nail polish, a brush, and that I believe would explain the true level of the Thai nation to achieve spirituality and transcendence. No water. No water. No water. Wow, only yeah. only this. Coke and Sprite. Yes. And all of this. And you don't have water. No. no, no. Why no water? No. Okay. Some some yeah. Some will be coming with uh, with a young girl. I see it, yeah. Uh, Japanese, or oh, some, uh, yeah. <laughs> old and young. Old is foreigner will be old. Yeah. Young girls will be high girls. And you don't like this? We don't like it. We cannot do nothing. They, they, they like it, yeah. They like it like this, yeah. This, uh, in big tall, yeah. I think they were they have plenty of money, yeah? Plenty of money. are watching at this moment is not just another interaction between a naive young Thai abusee and a sick white abuser, but a miniature image or a macrocosmos from the general broad image of the interrelationship between a naive and abused Thailand and a sick white Western American and European abuser. She never stops touching him, so she could constantly remind him of her services, which are totally molded and customized to his own personal needs and desires. Why would Thailand become a refuge for sick white men rejected by their own countries, their native women, and by basic ethical values who would abuse the simplicity of this nation and establish bars? nightclubs and sex markets upon every sacred inch of its soul and never ever to be questioned. Why would money devoid of any moral support remain the only means for sick old white men to create and to spread prostitution and sexual abuse upon simple, ignorant, naive and poor women who would in turn create a vicious circle for future and younger generations and constantly to turn this land to one huge whole house and a sex mecca for all ignoble and filthy men all around the world.
Why would a young naive Thai girl who is not yet 18 years old with four younger brothers and sisters and a sick divorced mother wishes anything except to munch food, buy some cheap Chinese blouse and skirt and feed her family while that fat white pig behind her wishes nothing more but to put his penis between her skinny thighs when she is not busy feeding him? cooking for him, washing his clothes and cleaning his filth? Why would a sick German idiot enforce his own ridiculous Bavarian customs upon his Thai employees and why would fast food chains be allowed to poison the ignorant Thai people? Why would simple and naive young women in remote Thai villages think of nothing but their image and who is responsible to conduct ridiculous white beauty competition instead of targeting their heads and their spirits? Why would idiots who have nothing better to do in their lives except chasing a ball with another 22 idiots become the supreme motto and idols for a poisonous brand like Pepsi Cola which spread its toxins along millions of innocent children who wrongly believed that morons such as Beckham and Ronaldinho have better brains than a chicken? Why would intelligent and refined creatures such as those elephants be forced under torture to perform stupid human actions, painting a t-shirt, playing football or basketball only to please the dark side of humanity? And what happened to the dignity of a nation where there exists no leadership to bring that lost dignity back to its harbor? And how could we ever find pleasure from inflicting pain and not being aware of it? How could we ever imagine that we are the center of this world and that other microorganisms so vital to our existence and our ecosystem are dangerous and should be eliminated unless through fabricated lines by western destructive companies as Dittol? Why would the minority of the world who are bound by no ethical values accumulate all the wealth within the high walls of their luxurious villas and mansions and who never contributed a tiny bit to the welfare and the harmony of a just and balanced social system while others had to be packed like sardines in filthy unhygienic and overpopulated chicken boxes in a cruel capitalistic nation that bears no compassion to anyone except the wealthy? Why would the Thai police do nothing against child trafficking when child mafias are trading with stolen Burmese children, renting them for beggars in broad daylight? Why would an imbecile like George Clooney, whose highest achievement is opening a casino, become associated as such? Why would the cup of coffee that costs few cents be sold for such a high price when 80% of the people have little to eat? Why would fake and forged cards of all sorts be sold in public and in broad daylight? How could a religion as profound and refined such as Buddhism become degraded and stripped down to silly and meaningless rituals empowering fanatic Thai organizations with money and power while the rest of the nation are drowning in ridiculous services and sacraments?